There are so many ways to roast a chicken, but I think there are a few little things you can do that can make your roast chicken like the perfect roast chicken. I have a little trick here that I use whenever I want to put a marinade on my chicken because sometimes it's difficult when you put a marinade on the outside of the chicken, it can burn. So this is my way of incorporating more flavor. So first of all, I'm going to make like a compound butter if you like, so a flavored butter. And the trick here is that not all butters are created equal. And if you have a look at the ingredients, you wanna find a butter that's a minimum 82% fat. So that means it's gonna be full flavored and you know, like good butter. <laughs> so the tricks start at the supermarket. My butter is a little bit soft here and I'm going to incorporate some green curry paste because I really love using green curry paste in things like a compound butter or in a marinade because there are so many ingredients here like fragrant galangal and ginger and garlic and chilies and I don't have to slice and dice them. <laughs> <laughs> so using a curry paste sometimes can be a little bit of an extra cheat. But you could add whatever kind of marinade or flavoring that you like into this butter. Uh, the technique itself will be the same. Okay, so just whip that up so that everything is well mixed. Now I do have an important method of actually roasting the chicken as well a little bit later on, which is slightly different probably to your regular method, but we'll get to that a bit later. First of all, I need to prep the chicken. So let's get our guy. And I wanna be able to insert the butter between the skin and the chicken itself. So I'm gonna make little pockets here. Make sure you're getting a little pocket in that drumstick as well, because I want the butter and the flavor to be able to go everywhere. Loosening up the skin also helps you get that really crispy skin as well. So a little bit of air between the skin and the chicken itself. All right, let's go in with our butter. And it's not really the sexiest thing, you know, don't go putting this part on your Instagram, um, but it works. Smoosh it in there if you like, and then down onto the drumstick as well. Now all of that luscious butter is going to keep our chicken really nice and juicy and buttery. Yum. The other thing you need to do here is you want to just tie the legs up. You don't have to do any like fancy trussing or anything, you know, just grab the legs. And the whole point is you're kind of lifting up the chicken so that the legs are nice and tight. You're getting a nice shape with the chicken that just helps with the overall evenness of the cook. So just tie those legs together any way you kind of like. Pop the chicken just into a roasting tray, dish, tin, whatever you've got. A lovely sprinkling of salt here. A little bit of white pepper. Most chickens are roasted at around about like the 180 Celsius uh, kind of mark for about 30 minutes per 500 grams. But I actually think you get a better result when you blast the chicken. So like high heat roasting, 220 Celsius, 20 minutes per 500 grams. And that way you're kind of like really crisping up that skin and the kind of the chicken breast isn't spending too long in the oven. So it's not as dry. That is the theory. So this is a 1.5 kilo chicken. It's gonna go in for one hour. All right, let's have a look at this chicken now. I'm expecting big things here. Ah, oh, wow. Look at the color on that. I mean, you know, it's so deeply golden. Look how crispy that skin is. It's crispy, it looks just, it looks delish. What we're gonna do here though is let the chicken rest. And in the meantime, I'm gonna scoop out some of this chicken juice slash butter slash roasted goodness here. Spoon that into a little saucepan and we're gonna make a little gravy. I'm gonna add in a little bit more curry paste here. Now just give that curry paste a minute or so to kind of start releasing all of its flavors and yumminess. Okay, and then we can go in with the coconut milk. And you really like get a lovely gravy here without even trying. Look at that, looks beautiful. A little dash of fish sauce here. Hey, and that is ready. Now, just grab a hold of your chicken onto a chopping board, nice large one. Take off the string. Now, carving a chicken is very simple. Let's go through it step by step. I always start with the legs. So just cut through the joint here. And you just kind of want to follow the bone. So I just want to follow where the bone joins 
the main part of the chicken and keep pulling away and then you've got your leg and thigh piece. Now, there's always fights in my house over the leg and thigh piece, so I need to cut that in half. Now we do the other leg, drumstick. Now the chicken breast, so cut through the center here, down the side of the breastbone, then just keep running your knife down along the bone till you get to this point here where the joint is and then just snap through and just a couple of pieces through the breast. Okay. And there you go, guys. Uh, I love roast chicken. I particularly love this method of roasting chicken. And yeah, let's just get in there, shall we? Pour some sauce. Mm, my goodness. And it's so buttery and delicious. Mm. And the chicken skin, literally, I am a chicken skin person. I could just eat all of that skin. Just try and stop me. Very good. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I sure do love cooking and creating content for my channel. And if you enjoyed it, then why not hit the subscribe button and maybe that little bell as well. Because if you hit the bell, then you'll get a notification every time I'm cooking something delicious.